What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, I just had a quick thought that I wanted to run by you. Well, run by you, drop in your brains. I was just thinking about it, um, and it's this idea of stepping on the butterfly. What do I mean by that? When I'm thinking about songwriting, it is such a fragile line between being uh, creating something absolutely incredible and profound and beautiful and well-crafted and between something that just feels forced. It's a very, very fine line. It's a very fragile balance. And I think what happens to us as artists and writers, a lot of the time, whether subconsciously or consciously, we overthink it and we step on the butterfly. What I mean by that is songs are, are, are kind of, you know, like butterflies in that sense that um, they are so fragile, they're so, there's so much intricacy, there's so much subtlety to them, and you just have to be really careful about um, how, how analytical that you get. It's, it's really easy to overthink your songwriting. Um, I, I'm not saying just go settle for, you know, mediocrity or anything like that. And sometimes you just have to for momentum's sake, but, um, I've worked with a lot of people over the years that have had the tendency to overthink things and round one or round two of a song was truly a hit. But by, by the time it made it to round five or 10, the butterfly was already squashed and there was nothing beautiful anymore. It was just a homogenized, generic uh, resemblance of what first came out or what, what you know. I, I really, really am a big proponent of follow that initial burst of inspiration and this is not only to my you know songwriter friends and artist friends but also to my industry friends who might be seeing this who maybe work at a record label or in publishing or in a and R um, I think it's our tendency to, to be fearful in the process because we are always worried about man we have to you're only you know you have you're only as good as your next hit so we're always thinking about a song in terms of will this work or will it not work and I think what that breeds is it breeds a spirit of fear and sometimes has the tendency to make us overthink the process and, and not just ask ourselves, does this feel good? Does this move me? Does this inspire me? I think those are better questions to ask than is the lyric in the second line of the second verse right? Or is the drum pattern on the chorus right? I think those are all great nuts and bolts to, to look for and of course I believe in the refining process that that is not what I'm saying here is don't refine but I, what I'm saying is be very leery of crossing that line between something absolutely beautiful and inspired and um, you know great songs often are like gifts that are given to us and it's our job to steward them well and half of the time, that simply means us just not screwing it up. Whatever that you want to call muse or inspiration. or uh, For me, it's what I believe is gifts from heaven. These songs that we're given. Um, just don't overthink it too much. And that's kind of what I mean. That's I, I have to credit Tim Ferriss a little bit with this. I listened to his podcast and he referenced this idea of stepping on the butterfly. Um, he talks about it in his book, 4-Hour Workweek. And he wrote it when he was 29. He looks back and there's lines in it that now he, he cringes. It's been 11 years ago. But he doesn't want to edit it and, and fuss with it too much because he's fearful of killing the magic that initially worked. And so that's my challenge to you guys today as songwriters and artists is don't overthink it too much. Just does it feel good or does it not feel good? Is there kind of an intangible magic or is there not? And let that be filter. So watch out for squashing the butterfly.